I'm going to show you in this video how to change your Lotus Notes password. And I'm using the Lotus Notes 8.5 client. You may be using another release of Lotus Notes, but that'll be fine. Most of these things will be the same for you. So you click on File and go to Security, then User Security. It'll ask you to type in your password. Now this is your current Lotus Notes password. And then it comes up with this screen here. Now there may be some settings that have been set by your administrator that dictate how many letters um, or characters your password needs to have um, to make it a secure password, whether or not it needs uppercase and lowercase and numbers and all of those kind of things. So you may find when you're doing this that you need to need to cooperate with that otherwise it might not do it for you. So in here I can click on change password. So again I put in my current Lotus Notes password. This is not the new one yet. And I click on login. And it asks me to enter my new password. And you re-enter it to verify you've put it in correctly. And here you can change the encryption strength. Now I suggest unless you know what you're doing with this, you just leave it at whatever it's already on. So I'm just going to leave it on 64-bit. It's got some tips and things here for creating a good password. So once I'm done, I click on OK. And it says your password change has succeeded. Now there's some other options here, such as don't let the administrator set Domino Internet Password to match your notes password. When you change your password in here, your web password for all Lotus Notes applications can actually match what you've set it to here in Lotus Notes. So for instance things like Same Time and Quicker and those kind of applications. So at the moment I have got that unticked. And in most cases, I would leave it like that. It's got here, don't prompt for a password from other notes-based applications or programs. So that may be programs that use Lotus Notes. Um, so I'm thinking of things like the Spam Sentinel checking service, for instance. It's a separate application altogether, but it needs to be able to reference a server under a Lotus Notes user ID to be able to um, check databases. Um, for spam. So um, in that case, when I tick here, um, that application won't be prompted for a Lotus Notes password provided that I've already got Lotus Notes op open. It's also got one here saying log into Lotus Notes using operating system logon. Okay, so if your password for your operating system and Lotus Notes match, you should be able to log in to Lotus Notes without being prompted for a password. You'll just use what your operating system password.